Right, welcome to a brand new one. Now, I'm pretty excited to talk about something really cool in Kubia. So far, what we've been doing is we've been running different, giving different commands to Kubia to create buckets, to create a bunch of other things. Now, in this one, I want to talk about a mode called as Pro, which is gives you a robust platform just like you would do on an operating system on your local and give you the same experience in Kubia as well. So you type in slash pro and then it's going to give you bunch of options. The first one is the developer option and the second one is the DevOps option. The DevOps option lets you start with features like uh, Git and bunch of other. The second one is you've got the environments uh, which is the developer which gives you Git. Uh, Python and a lot of other ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a dev sessions All right, and then you could choose that whether you want a DevOps profile or a developer profile I'm interested in DevOps because I I am a DevOps engineer I want to create a bunch of resources Using Terraform because that's what I do I write infrastructure as a code and that's what I want to do So as soon as I selected you see that the container is created everything is container encapsulated Which means your entire infrastructure runs inside the container. So as you can see uh, it has started giving us a bunch of options that the container is created and what you could do is it tells us that you could clone a repo, you could create a bunch of files, folders and start writing your Terraform code. So what I'm really interested in is, could you write a Terraform code to create S3 bucket and name it as Echo Kubia Terraform and add a tag created by Kubia. So what's going to happen is now, as you could see that it's going to start generating some of the Terraform files for us. Now this is really cool, right? So it's going to start creating, understand the command and what type of resources do we want? And it's going to start give us everything step by step as you can see it has given us the plan create a new directory first it's it's not only just telling us giving us the instruction but in the background it is also performing all the action so it's going to create a new directory so it has started to giving us all the plan then it's going to initialize the project it's going to run the terraform init as well then do the plan and eventually apply uh, obviously it's gonna ask for the confirmation from our side before applying and destroying and isn't it cool all right now let's go ahead and see what it is doing it so it has created the folder mkdir terraform s3 bucket and it's created the brand new folder inside the container and it's cd into that particular folder ran the terraform init now run terraform plan and show the plan as well so what's going to happen in the background, it's going to run the plan and show us whatever the output is going to be for that plan, which is going to be the bucket, bucket name and the tags as well. So it's running the executing the command. It's telling us what it is doing in the background as well. Right. It has started to execute the plan. As you can see, Terraform plan and then outputting the plan. So it's saying that the plan will perform the bunch of below action which is creating new s3 bucket and this is a more comprehensive plan if you compare to a raw terraform plan so please note that there's a warning about so it tells us that which arguments are deprecated as well uh, but it also tells us that it it is not going to hamper our plan so we're going to say now apply the plan so what we are doing is we are telling kubia now to apply the infrastructure which should create the brand new bucket using Terraform powered by Kubia. All right, so just ran Terraform apply with using the plan and the bucket name Echo Kubia Terraform has successfully been created with the tag created by Kubia. Let's go ahead and check in our console. If I just hit refresh, we should have the bucket created few seconds back. All right, we are pretty much happy now. We're done with the testing. We'll say run Terraform destroy so that it deletes the bucket and clean up the environment as well. All right, I hope this was super informative. I let it destroy the infrastructure. Meanwhile, you go ahead and give it a try and create any resources which you want. I showed you how to create S3 bucket. However, you could start with EC2 instances. You could start with ECR or ECS or Kubernetes cluster as well. I hope this was super informative. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.